Mike Dicely from Hyper Racing, here to talk to you about the Micron 5, an inexpensive way to do some very powerful data acquisition on your race car. This unit only costs $499, and you can do a ton of things with it. Lots of guys are going to try to sell you a really expensive Micron unit, which is not necessary for a micro spring. Uh, you can do pretty much everything on this unit that you can on the $2,800 units. Uh, with this, you can record RPMs, G-forces, it has a three-axis accelerometer, a GPS is included for doing track mapping so you know where you are on the track. You can look and see how you drove that night. It does fuel pressure, oxygen levels as you race. Um, the cool thing about this one is it displays your top three lap times as soon as you come in from warm-ups. You can look at your high and low RPMs really quickly right on the dash and you can tell if your gearing is dialed in or not. You can see what your lap times are, so you can see if you're competitive, what you need to change. A lot of great information. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to install it on your car, how to download the data, how to view it on your computer, and how to do an export so you can send your data, your O2 levels, uh, to me or whoever your tuner is so we can look and see how your engine's running, rich or lean, and we can dial your ECU or your power commander in, help you get your car running right. Okay, let's go. Here's how easy it is to get the data off your Micron. All you need is a laptop that has Wi-Fi capabilities. Simply you turn your Micron on. And get to the home screen. You want to make sure Wi-Fi is turned on on your Micron. Um, actually, you can read in the directions how to do that. It's super easy, though. Then you just... Once that's on, the Wi-Fi is turned on. Uh, this is how I do it. I go to my Wi-Fi settings on my laptop, and the Micron shows up right here. You just click on it and hit connect. Call up your Race Studio 3 software. Um, you can also connect to a, your Micron up here. And once you're connected, the Micron will show up here. Click on it. It'll connect. Uh, I think the download tab defaults to on. And I'll show you the runs that are recorded in the Micron. So this is uh, Austin. Let's see. Let's see if we can find a run here. Here's the feature from last Saturday night at the Lanco Clyde Martin Memorial Speedway. I'm going to uncheck check all the runs and only check the one run that I want to download. And then I click on the download button. Uh, it'll allow me to fill in some information here about the race. I'll show you the status of it downloading that run. Okay, it completed its download. Uh, the next easiest thing to do is just to click on the analysis button and it'll open up Race Studio 2. Uh, and it shows all the laps down at the bottom, all the channels along the left hand side. Uh, you want to click on this graph button. So if it comes up looking like this, or like this, just click on the, the graphs button here and it'll show the laps. Uh, right now I have RPMs highlighted. And let's see, we'll go ahead and highlight. Yeah, the black line is the air fuel. So you click on the channel, make sure the checkbox is marked, and it'll show the air fuel here, RPMs there. Um, quick thing to do is to right click down here and click on show best lap and only show the one lap. Um, we're looking at the red line RPMs, the black line is air fuel ratio, the green line is gyro X, which we're going to turn off. Okay, there we go. We got RPM and air fuel. Um, with air fuel, you want to only look at your data going down the straightaway because when you're going through the uh, through the turn and into the turn, you're off the throttle, cars bouncing, the air fuel oscillates up and down quite a bit. 
We want to isolate just a small area going down the straightaway. So you can go up here and get the zoom button. Little plus symbol. And where the RPMs uh, are low and they show a steady run up, that's where we're going to um, zoom in on because that's going down the straightaway. So here we can now look at our air fuel ratio. So we're at 11, 11 6, and then a high RPMs here at the end of the straightaway, we're up at like 12 2, which for Yamaha might be a little bit lean, um, but not too far off there for a, a nightly race. Really, I'd actually like to see it down at 11 4. Some of the engines even can handle it down at 11 2. Yamaha's like a little bit leaner. Um, then we can zoom back out, click on the minus button. Um, we can look at external voltage, which interestingly shows if your battery, if your charging system's working, what kind of shape your battery's in. Uh, we're able to do some debugging with that. We can look at water temperature. Um, and you can see the water, so it shows the, the information down here too. And you can see the water temperature change as the race goes on. So here he's at 185 on that lap. Uh, you can look at your g-forces uh, but that's pretty much the handy information there a useful feature too is you can look at your high and low rpms for every lap um, now here it looks like Heath was running up high the whole time but you could see laps where you run low laps where you run high you can see what your low rpm is uh, right here he's coming out of the turn at 13.3, uh, his peak RPM is 15.9. Uh, so I'd say he's pretty much geared perfect because the rev limiter hits at 16, 16.1. 16 uh, but if you're only hitting like 15.2, you know you gotta go up a tooth or maybe even two teeth at that point. So real handy for looking at, you can, you can lay um, laps on top of each other. See how consistent your air fuel readings are. You can look at your miles per hour, GPS speed right here. Uh, again, you run your cursor along and then you can look up here and see what your top speed is. So 70, 70.4, 69.9 is uh, the top speed at Lanco. G-forces. Uh, Lateral, that's GPS though. Where is the accelerometers? Acceler okay, here's the accelerometer. Uh, you can look at your G-forces. So he's pulling uh, 0.1 Gs at the end of the turn. You can look here and see where it dips way down. That's his peak G's there are uh, like 0.7 G's at max. So that's pretty, uh, that's a slick track. On a wet, tacky track, you'll be hitting like 2 G's, up to 2 G's. You look at the track map. So as you uh, run your cursor along your data here, you can see where you were on the track. You're right in the middle of the turn. Go here right at the end of the straightaway. Oops. Pretty useful information. Um, if you want to send me your data so I can evaluate it for you, you go to your go to your test database. Uh, you find the test you want to download. You right click on it and you hit export test. They ask you where you want to put it. Okay, let's put it on the desktop. Right here is the file name. Hit save. Now if I go to my desktop, uh, you can see it right here. So it's gonna export several files. All I want is the .drk file. Close a new message. You're gonna send it to Mike 
at hyperracing.com and you say Austin's data and you say Mike please give me a new data tune flash my box to make me lightning fast blah 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 then you grab your file from the desktop and you place it inside the email and it loads it that shows it's loading it shows the DRK file and then you hit send and look there it is it shows up I got your data now I can download it look at it evaluate it email you back uh, and reflash your ECU if necessary all right to hook up your tack on the micron this black wire comes stock uh, all we're going to do is take the little hook off that they give you. We have to hook this wire up to the signal side of the coil, and we like to use the number one coil. To identify which of the two wires is a signal, you just look at the wires on each coil, and you pick the one that's different colors on each coil. So this has red as common, and on this number one, it's a black with a green stripe wire. So that's going to be our signal wire. On this one, it's black with orange, black with red, etc. So we, this is the wire we want. That's the signal wire. We need to connect that to this. You can either strip it back and s strip this off, solder it in, uh, use electrical tape, or you can use a wire tap. We sell these on our website. Uh, to use a wire tap, you simply, I'm not actually going to do this, but you're going to put that around there, Screw this into there, it'll make contact with the wire. And then you take your, your uh, this wire when it's stripped off, put it through here. Yeah, it won't do it with it, the insulation not on. And then strip that in there, you'll have this sitting there. That's gonna run your tack for you. Um, if Brian Carver does your harness for you, he will have a wire hanging out of the harness uh, that's for the micron, and we'll also have an ECU signal tack wire hanging out back here, um, or we'll have that run to the U6SA tack connector. Uh, the micron will not read off of the ECU tack signal, it has to use the coil signal, a high voltage signal. Um, so you can also just plug your micron into this wire that Brian Lee's hanging out of your harness for you. Uh, if, since we're hooked up to the coil, every engine is going to have the same uh, pulses per revolution, which is going to be times two. So in your RPM settings on your Micron setup, just set it to times two. That's it. The $499 plus the O2 sensor, which I think is $380, uh, that will give you all the data that I need to tune your ECU for you. Or if you have a, micro, or a power commander, you could make some adjustments yourself in there. Um, the TPS signal, throttle position sensor, which uh, the fancier systems will give you access to that. Uh, this won't do that, at least not easily. It can do it. Uh, but on the data, I can tell when you're on or off the throttle. Micro sprint racers are either on or off, unless it's a real slick track, which I can look at the G-Force to see if it's a slick track, and then I can see if you're lifting off and uh, I can gauge there where you are on the map when I reflash your box for you. So I don't really need the TPS sensor signal in order to be able to create a custom tune for you. Peace out.